to what we discussed so far in the last session. So during the last session, uh, we discussed the, the two policy. So how we can create the physical architecture to the Oracle database and how the uh, logical architecture to the Oracle database and how this physical and log logical architecture is going to be mapped in the context. So currently our default context is global. Now everything is ready. The physical is ready. The logical where you are going to be used in ODI during runtime using context. It's time to import our metadata from the respective database. So we'll go on do that now. Okay. So everything is ready now. I'm going to be uh, use my designer. So my connections are ready. So source connection is Scott new schema. I'm trying to utilize the same connection as the target currently. Now, so before going to uh, implementing our mapping, we the mapping is required the source and target, which is a data flow between source and target. So what we call this mapping. Before doing that, we need our source and target metadata. So if you are required your source and target metadata, we need to import from the database. Right? So let's go and import how we can import the metadata from the database in ODI. Okay. Now see if you look at the designer, we have projects, then we have models. Right? So in the model section, if you look at the option here, new model folder, when you click on here, it will get it will give some options new model folder or directly new model, new model and topology objects, right? Now, I don't want to confuse you, okay, just go to new model folder, just click on here and give uh, whatever the name you want here. So, this is model belongs to Oracle, for the naming standards, I'm giving Oracle and I'm saying the batch here, batch 7.30 a.m., okay? Right, so I just this is just only your naming convention. So when you create your model folder, just go and save it. Right, so your model folder is ready. When you expand this, you don't see anything. I'm just closing here. You don't see anything. Now to create your model here, just right click on your model folder, create new model. Our job starts now. So what's your model name? And okay, it's like you know the folder name. It's like you know if you consider Informatica, there is we have project folder. Under the folder, we we need to have those connections, target, mappings, worklet. I'm sorry, maplets, reusable transformations. Right? Accordingly, the definition is same. So to create your mapping, we need to provide a mapping name like that. To create your source connection, we are going to be uh, use one source connection over there, either Oracle, flat file, everything, right? When we are trying to import, the source is going to be differentiated. Yeah, they are going to be categorized over there according to the database. So I'm going to give my model name. So I'm taking metadata from my Scott schema. Scott new. So I'm just giving Scott metadata. Right? So the code should be uh, unique here. So it has generated a code for this name. Right? So what is the technology you are trying to import your metadata? Either Oracle, SQL Server, Hadoop, or Teradata, whatever. Right? I'm just going and selecting my technology, Oracle. So what is the logical schema? So I have a question that, here. Yes. So, uh, if you see in the technology, it is only showing three options, file, in-memory, and Oracle. Let's say if it is SQL Server, how it will come here? We have created uh, the in-memory engine is unique, okay? And file is unique. So, mm -hmm. when you create the SQL Server here, okay, when you create the SQL Server, that will automatically prompt here. Okay. We, we create that one so far here. When you create, that will become here, okay? 
Omega. Okay, okay. Now, and also, like uh, we have not discussed project as of yet, right? Yes. Okay. We'll do that. No worries. Okay. So, what is the logical schema we created? We created the logical schema here. Scott new schema in the tour policy. So, I'm selecting the same. So, what is the action group? So, here uh, I can select all till default. So, whatever you can say, <coughs> I'm sorry. You can select whatever you want here, just for understanding purpose, right? So, the default folder, okay, just ignore this one so far. I'll let you know in the coming sessions when you have uh, file databases. So, what is the description of this model? This model imports metadata from or looking score schema. So when in future a developer look at this one, okay, your description looks uh, simply saying that, okay, this model is going to be import the metadata from all kill schema, right? So you can write your own description over here. Now, if you look at the tabs here, definition, the reverse engineering tab, selective reverse engineering. I don't want to talk about rest of the things so far. I'm, sorry, I'm talking about definition, reverse engineer now. So when you select the reverse engineer, it is going to be showing a standard and customized. Okay. So where is the context here? Either global or Oracle context. So it is showing currently glo global only. I'm selecting the same, which is the default one. So what are the types of objects to reverse engineer? You are trying to reverse engineer table or view or synomial queues, whatever you want. So, currently I am trying to reverse engineer my table. If you would like to reverse engineer view also, just click view. If you are trying to reverse engineer synonym, just click on synonym. But why this queue and system table and table alias are uh, disabled? The respective database does not have this type of uh, ones. Okay. So, I am just deselecting the my required ones. Mm -hmm. and it's I'm just selecting my table only because my table, my schema does not have any views or anything. Now go to select your reverse engineering tab. Right. So select your reverse engineering. When you click on here, it is trying to default selecting the option new data stores. Now. If you click on objects to reverse engineer, it, it will sh show you the objects available in the schema. So what are the objects you are trying to reverse engineer? Either bonus. What is this new data store and existing data store? Uh, I'll show you that. No okay. One second. Okay. Right. So a bonus. I just um, check my uh, employee EMP table where I'm going to be reverse engineer. When you select a particular object to reverse engineer, you can see option as reverse engineering here. So just click on reverse engineer. It is going to be ask you do you want to proceed? Click on yes. Right. So you can see the option EMP. You can see the metadata of EMP now. Now, so I'm just deselecting here. When you deselect here, objects to reverse engineer. Can you see EMP table now? No. Okay. When you click on existing data stores, there you can see the EMP. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the option what we have. If you want to re-import the EMP table again and you would like to rename that, you can choose the existing data stores. So if you do that and you import EMP again, so it will override the old one or what? how it will work? Just look at here. Okay, I'm trying to re-import the same EMP table. Mm -hmm. What it, what it did? Right. It is going to be overriding the existing table. So overriding means, let's say, uh, my older employee table had five columns and the new one had four columns. 
So it will replace only four columns and the fifth column will remain or the five columns will be gone and the new four columns will come. I mean just adding, refreshing whatever is new or it will basically uh, just uh, erase the old thing completely and put the new thing. It's uh, just to clarify what you do in Informatica. So your table structure has changed. Mm -hmm. What you, the first time you are trying to import your metadata from the database, you yes. just imported that. Your mm -hmm. table structure has changed the next time. So when you are mm -hmm. trying to import that, it will prompt you either a rename or replace. It's mm -hmm. likely to be replace. Replacing should be it is going to be delete the existing structure in the Informatica and create a new structure of the current table. The same mm -hmm. thing is happening here. Okay, it is so going to be. Yes. Yeah, if I want to create a new structure of where that option comes, I don't want to erase it. I want to create employee 1 or EMP 1. Okay. So you'd like to create EMP 1. Yeah. So you can create it here. If you'd like to create a new structure, I think uh, Oracle is not supporting so far. It's likely, you know, it is uh, renaming, renaming those structures. So they're trying to, they're trying to utilizing that. So, so far it doesn't have a structure. If you'd like to create, you can create the backend and you can uh, re-import that. Oh, so it means I cannot create multiple copies of the same thing. Yes. So it okay. doesn't prompt you to rename, replace, or uh, do whatever you want. Okay. Just okay, it will always override. replace. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So our employee table is ready now. Okay. So I'm trying to take uh, one more table, employee. So for this, um, I'm taking going to be taking EMP as the source, employee as the target. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be essentially the employee table. Ready. So I'm taking my source as EMP and target as employee table. So just close this one now. But in real time, what will happen? Let's say because my target will reside in separate schema, so I will have to create, uh, you know, a separate data store, or, you know, how how in the real world it will work? Because here exactly. my source and target is in the same, but in real world it will be different. How will I do it? Sure. So you'd like to uh, create a new model for that. Create a new model. Mm -hmm. And just uh, rename it as, uh, I'm going to be renaming this one as ODA and as for target. Okay. So the technology is same. I'm going to be selecting my Oracle technology here. And logical schema, I'm selecting ODA target. Because this was I created earlier, I'm utilizing okay. the same logical schema. Because this right. logical schema is connected to the physical schema of target, right? So that's exactly. why it will be different. Okay. Exactly. So ODA target is connecting the scheme of ODA underscore target in my database. Mm -hmm. If you look at here, ODA target. Both are different schemas. Now, the same is, uh, options are same. Go to reverse engineering, select whatever mm -hmm. you want here, and go to select reverse engineering, select reverse engineering, so objects to reverse. Mm -hmm. So just select the required ones here, and mm -hmm. import that reverse engineer. Okay. What is this? Yeah. So I have given a same name, so that's why it's trying to uh, prompt me. You have already created this model name? Yes. Okay. The metadata. Mm -hmm. Now it was engineered. See. I can see my Okay, a table, a table from other schema now. Now I can use oh, this one as my source yeah. and this one as my target. Okay, yeah, this is good. Actually, uh, like my only thing is that we should do what is done in real world so that we can understand how things are working. So that's why, sure. but this is good. Okay, now, so my source and targets are ready. It's time mm -hmm. to create our mapping, first mapping. Okay. So just minimize your models, go mm -hmm. to the project. So if you go to the project, in the 
here you can select a new project. Okay. So just create your project name. And here also, do we create like you know generally in Informatica we create SD in SIL, like uh, source dependent, extract, source source independent load. I, I didn't get your question. Yeah. Question. So for example, uh, generally what we do in Informatica, it's not specific to Informatica. We create two types of mapping. Once from source to staging, that we called SDE, source dependent extract. And then the other mapping is from staging to target that we call uh, SIL, source independent load. So generally uh, what we do in Informatica, we create two folder, one for SD mappings and other for SIL mappings. Mm -hmm. So I'm just uh, uh, saying, do we do that here or how does it work? Because there, in, any, in any mapping there are always two parts, one from source to staging, other is staging to target. True. So if you would like to create like likewise, we can do mm -hmm. that. But Oracle okay. has an other option utilizing the work table. I mean, says the staging area. Okay. So, by so the way, if you like, what you are saying, if we always create only one mapping from source to staging to target. That's what you are saying. Exactly. I, I'll show you how to differentiate okay. that. Okay. Okay. So uh, I just create my name of the project and just click on save. Oh, your folder is ready now. When you extract your folder, it can show you the first folder, a default folder, and variables, sequences, user functions, KMs, and finally markers. Mm -hmm. So you can create a folder under this if you want. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you can utilize the same folder. So if I create. I mean, yeah, so if I create the folder again, so in that folder, new folder, all these options will be present, package and mappings and reusable and procedures, that's what you are saying? Exactly, exactly. Okay. Do you want me to show that? Yeah, just create two, uh, I mean, I'm just trying to understand, you know, uh, if that doesn't sure. hurt. Okay. Right, so I yeah. have created a folder under this, under the first folder, it is trying to show you that. Okay, okay, okay. I think we can delete it, but I think it's confusing. So, yeah. Right, so the yeah. first folder is ready. So mm -hmm. now, just go to the mappings. If you okay. expand the mappings, nothing is there. No. Now we'd like to create a mapping here. So mm -hmm. just right click on your mapping and click mm -hmm. on new mapping. Okay. So just your mapping name. Mm -hmm. So we use the same map mapping uh, naming convention what we use in Informatica like starting from M then the name. It's, it's your wish. So Amazon, we are trying to utilize M only so far. Yeah. So if you'd like to utilize in a project differently, we can do that. Okay. Okay. And what is this create empty data set? There was an option, right? Yes. Uh, nothing. See what it's showing. Mm -hmm. See, the data set is default is empty. Oh, nothing is there. So this is called data set, what the blue screen? Exactly. Okay. Okay. So we are trying to drop all our data sets over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, just minimize it. Now, you just mm -hmm. drag and drop your source and target here. Right? So yeah. this is my source. Just drag and drop your source over here. Okay. Do you need to drop it outside of this? No, no. I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, experimenting, you know. Is it all right? Yeah. 
So target always goes outside. Yes, target should be outside. Okay. That was game, but I am unable to see that. When you drag and drop here. So it should we see in logical or physical? Because in bottom there are two options like overview, logical, I'll physical. I'll explain those features. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or can we right click and see if there is any option? We use it to drag and drop over here only. But yeah, something happened. No problem. I mean, I'm yeah. just trying to understand. I can see something here, right? If you go left. This is right. So we you click, you basically dropped multiple times, so that's why it's employee six, I guess. Yeah, that wasn't shown initially. Yeah. No, oh, there are multiple. Multiple. So can we just select and click delete button? Will it delete? Of course, it should be. Because in Informatica it works like that. You can delete that connections. Exactly. Okay. Now I have only EMP table. Right. Okay. So your source is ready, your target is ready. Yeah. Right? So on top of that, uh, we need to import our knowledge modules. Mm -hmm. We need to import our knowledge modules. But where is the staging? You don't worry, okay? Let, let, let me go through uh, one by one, okay? okay. I, I'll explain that. Okay. Right? So. Mm -hmm. So just go back to your project folder now mm -hmm. and expand your project folder. Just go to knowledge modules. If you look at this, I have explained the integration knowledge module and loading knowledge module. Right. The loading one and integration one. Mm -hmm. I don't see any knowledge module over here. Everything is empty. Okay. Right? So just so our source is Oracle. Our topic also mm -hmm. Oracle. So mm -hmm. we should go and import LKM SQL to SQL or LKM Oracle to Oracle, whatever the knowledge module are you available, we'll go and import that. Okay. Accordingly, the integration knowledge module we are trying to import. Okay. So just right click on the knowledge module, just click on import knowledge modules. Okay. Right. So you can see here all the available knowledge modules. Just go to the option L. So LKM file. You can select the required knowledge module here. LKM Oracle to Oracle, or you can select LKM SQL to SQL also. Oracle or SQL to SQL, whatever you want. I mean, what is the I, difference between these? See, I, I showed you right. The SK, LKM SQL to SQL is the uh, generic knowledge module. Okay. Right? So let's see. Oracle supports SQL. MS SQL mm -hmm. supports SQL, Teradata the supports SQL. The mm -hmm. RDB database which supports RDMS, RDBMS properties, okay, it should support the SQL. Mm -hmm. Let's see, you don't have a knowledge module to populate from Oracle to Oracle. But you have a knowledge module again SQL to SQL. You can select this one, internally it write a code according to the Oracle SQL. Mm -hmm. You have a knowledge model LKM, I'm a SQL to Netija. If both mm -hmm. support SQL, you don't mm -hmm. have LKM or MS SQL to Netija knowledge module. In this situation, mm -hmm. if you select LKM SQL to SQL, it's a generic one. It supports mm -hmm. MS SQL as uh, SQL and target mm -hmm. Netija as SQL. So it's a generic one. You can utilize where RDBMS or uh, where uh, satisfy the RDBMS properties. So we can always use that if it is RDBMS source to source. Uh, I mean exactly. source and target both are RDBMS. We can always do that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Now, just go and import your IKM also accordingly. So IKM should be all kill only. 
I came SQL control offline. Uh, I came um, this is a DB link, very very DB link. Currently we don't have any incremental update or in, sorry, I just I'm using I came uh, SQL control up and default. What or, is the uh, what is the meaning of this? I came yes. so where we can no, uh, increment I came is fine. Like SQL mm -hmm. incremental or SQL control append, you know what is the difference between what uh, we should use when? Sure. See the control append is you know where we can or going to be appending the data to the existing table, mm -hmm. right? Incremental update is nothing but you are going to be appending the data parallel. You are going to be updating the data like in you know, SQL type two. You are going to be inserting the data parallel. If there are any updates, we are going to be updating the same. Okay, so incremental update is SD type 2 and control append is what? SD type 1 or 2? No, control append is simply saying that you have a 100 records in the table mm -hmm. and your source is going to be, uh, uh, tomorrow your source is going to be 150 records. Yeah. Okay, you do not want to uh, remove those records but you want to append these records to the existing right. table. This is what we are calling append. Yeah. But incremental update do the same but it is going to be updating the records also if we have. Yeah. And what is the, there is a bit below one which says incremental update row by row. What is the difference between this and that? See, this is to be uh, a normal uh, true path. I think you know the options in SQL order, it's a direct true and false. Where true is going to be a bulk loading process. It is going to be a uh, uh, pop is going to be take a bulk set of records and it's going to be inside in the toggle table bulk loading part. The row by row part is simply is nothing but you know conventional part inserting record row by row by row row by row, row, by row. Mm -hmm. right? right? Right. So if you look at here Oracle incremental update image Oracle incremental update PLC query how this can work. If you, see, you can see uh, the image is fast compared to the update when we have large amount of the data value. Mm -hmm. Right? So according to your data volume you can select the one whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Right? So Oracle has given those options. You can select the required one. So I have mm -hmm. selected or I came SQL control append. Here Oracle I came also there. Oracle mm -hmm. control append. Oracle incremental update. So whatever you want, you just select the required knowledge module and just mm -hmm. keep on OK. Okay. It is trying to import any progress. Mm -hmm. So once they import it, it is trying to show you the stats. Okay. How many was imported and the original ID, whatever you want, just showing those uh, message only. Just click on close. Mm -hmm. Right. Now your integration knowledge modules are there and uh, loading knowledge modules are there. Yeah. Right. Just minimize this. Go back to your space now. Now. So we need to do the col column to column level validations now. We need to connect mm -hmm. the column to column in the target. Mm -hmm. Right. So just select the required uh, column here attribute and connect to the target. Okay. Right. And just select the second one and connect to the target. Look here. And connect to the target accordingly. Mm -hmm. Let's see you have um, you know hundreds of columns or attributes in your table. Do you do, yeah. the, do this manually? You don't write? Yeah. Right. So just select it. I'm going to be removing this one. Do you see? Now the connection, I don't see that. Right? So mm -hmm. if you have hundreds of columns, don't do that manually. You have an option. <coughs> just select it here and drag on to the respective pointer in the target. It will ask you by name, by position. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to be choose the position one to one. Mm -hmm. Click on OK. Let's click on target. Right? It is point to the employee number. M0 point to the MGR. 
salary point equal to salary. Mm -hmm. If you need a particular cons, you just drag and drop over here. Right. So this is my logical model. Now mm -hmm. let's go back to the let's go to the physical one. Uh, just one question here. Let's say I did the mapping by position. Something is wrong. Let's say job is ma mapped to manager. How will I correct it? Job is mapped to manager. Yeah, somehow, uh, you know, because I did by position and in my target table positions were different. Yes. See, so how when I you click on here, when you click on here, it will show you that top expression here. Default EMP dot job. This is the default, this is mm -hmm. the employee table, this is the mm -hmm. job attribute. Just mm -hmm. click on the job, what you want, just, okay, you just change whatever the, what you, you need here. And where is the target? See, when you click on here, on the bottom, you can see target. Mm -hmm. When you click on here, on the bottom, you can see the expression of the particular target. Mm -hmm. Highlight. Where it is pointing exactly? Mm -hmm. Where this one is pointing exactly? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Right. So now we'll go to physical. Mm -hmm. So in physical, we are going to be showcase this. The source target. Right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to be uh, give my knowledge modules to the target, right. There is nothing to change in the source end. I'm going to be in the staging area, like likely to be staging, right. Mm -hmm. So here, when you click on this, the default one, it is trying to showcase you that the loading knowledge module, mm -hmm. the options. So here we need to select the required loading knowledge module according to your source the respective LKM. See, you can, can see the can all. You, can you, uh, yeah, I'm not able to see the bottom part. If you can in, drag the screen a little bit up, you know, the divider between two upper area, area and bottom area. Just drag a little bit up. Yeah, thank you. Right. So, you just select the required one. All, LKM all kill to all kill, all kill to all kill, pull DB link. I don't set the mm -hmm. DB link because uh, it is going to be uh, through another if you don't provide a DB link. Mm -hmm. so SQL to all kill, SQL to SQL. Whatever you mm -hmm. want, you just do that. So I'm selecting LKM SQL to SQL. Okay. See, when you select here, it is going to be showing the options. Delete temporary objects. Mm -hmm. What is option exactly? In, during runtime, the employee table is going to be loaded into a, a temporary table. It is mm -hmm. The LKM is going to be create one temporary table. All the rows are going to be inserted in the temporary table. Mm -hmm. So once your mapping is completed, you need to drop this temporary table, right? When mm -hmm. you select this option value as true, it is going to be delete those temporary tables. Okay. But if you if you'd like to keep them, just create keep it as false. It so this temporary table, it. this temporary table is a staging table or it's a uh, staging table is different? It's a staging table basically. Okay. Now, so you your load is computed from source to the staging. Now mm -hmm. let's click on the target. When you click on the target, it will show you the same options. The general options are there. So what is the target table name, the description, logical connector points, and whatever you want. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, click on Integration Knowledge Module. Mm -hmm. Here we can select the required one. So, what are the Integration Knowledge Module you, you are looking for? So, mm -hmm. I came out in Control Append. I'm just trying to appending data into my existing table. Mm -hmm. Just click on Oracle Control Append. It will prompt you the options. What are the available options over here? Right? You can. Mm -hmm. You are able to see, right? Yes. Now, inserting the records. So, are you want to insert the records? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why the scheme is true. Mm -hmm. You'd like to commit the point. There, you can place the commit as true. Mm -hmm. So, synchronizing, generalized deletions. 
this is going to be happen uh, in a different way. Let's uh, ignore it. I, I'll tell you the options, you know, going forward, you know, everything, how that might be work. Okay. So just select the required one here. I, I'm not going to be do anything, anything changes here. Mm -hmm. I'm utilizing the existing one only. Right. So it is going to be uh, delete if you have any temporal objects before doing that. And mm -hmm. uh, if you have any indexes, you are going to be dropping them and enabling them. See here, indexes for to improve performance of the job. So you would like to disable the indexes and rebuild or disable and enable. But disable, enable, rebuild online it should be better because sometimes these uh, indexes are going to be in valid state. This might be the reason. Okay, so to overcome all this stuff, you can select the required one. Otherwise, just disable this, and after completion of another flow of your mapping, there you can enable the indexes. It's depending on all your requirement. Mm -hmm. I don't have any indexes over there. Just selecting none. So just select it, the truncate before loading mm -hmm. to the target table. If you'd like to truncate, press yeah. truncate. As false. If you'd like to delete all those. According, so, you can select the option. Uh, I mean, uh, so if I truncate the table, then delete all means nothing, right? Nothing. And only one option should work. Okay. <coughs> now, you don't have a target table. Let's say you save a staging table, and you'd like to create a table. So currently, it's a false. My table is available in the target, but you don't have any table. If you'd like to create a table, just click on true. So, can you say that again? Can you say that again? See, the, um, I have employee table in the target. Right. But you don't have any table in the target currently. Let's see. Let's say you don't have employee table in the target. Okay. During that time, if you would like to create a table before loading the data, mm -hmm. this option will work out here. Create target table. But you know, when we were creating data store, we did the reverse engineering and from database we get the metadata. It means it was yes. already existing over there. Uh, without that, I, we cannot exactly. create data store. Exactly. So, so why do we need to create a table? I mean, I'm, I'm just saying why, why this option is available. Because Let's without see. the target Let table, we go. cannot create model, data model. Let me, model. Let me go back. So this is the data model what we have currently. Yeah. Right? The name of the data model is I can place it as employee one, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. now I'm not taking my uh, model here. I'm just taking other one, other name, employee one. Okay, okay. I'm placing here. Mm -hmm. Go back to the physical now. So I'm trying to selecting the option here, mm -hmm. in the target, create the table. Mm -hmm. Create target table. I'm selecting as true. Hmm. I hope you can see that true yeah. option, hmm. right? So my employee one table does not exist in the target. If you see hmm. in the target, this is my ORI underscore target. Right. We can't see the table. And if you expand this one also, we can see there's no table with that. So now my ODA should create a employee one table. So after selecting your IKM with the required options, just click on save it here. Now, so our mapping is ready. If you would like to validate that, just click on the validate the mapping. Mm, right? where, is, where is the validate button? This Can is the one. You can see okay. the right mark. Okay. okay. Just click yeah. on validate. Just mm. trying to say a warning here, I'm going to be ignored that. It's just a warning. Mm -hmm. So now it's time to execute our mapping. On mm -hmm. top of this, you can see the run symbol. Yeah. Right. Just click on the run symbol. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to be asked which context you would like to run. The mm -hmm. respective context you should give it here. The physical mapping design, the agents. I told you, in the runtime, agents are going to be get the data, metadata from the repository. And what is your log level? At the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Likely, you know, mm. informatica is normal webos data, webos initialization. Yeah, and what in this physical mapping design, do we what options do we have, like physical and? 
Oh, it's only one option. Okay. And what is this simulation? Don't worry. Okay. Let okay. me run first. I'll explain okay. that next. Okay. Just click on okay. Okay. So it is going to be saying that this is going to be power pay option. He's saying that no control is not possible if no key is declared in your toggle data store. We did something wrong in the IKM. Okay. Let me go back and look at that. We need to disable one option. I hope. Uh, I, I remember you, there was some flow control thing that we made true. This is the one. This should be false. Activate flow control. Okay. What is this actually? What option is this? Uh, this is I'm not sure what exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, an Oracle option on the table. I think so. Okay. Okay. They have created multiple options in database levels. Yeah. See, my session started. Okay. Just uh, go to the operator and mm -hmm. expand all executions here. When you see here, mapping first, pass through. Okay. Right. So I don't want to see it here. Okay. Just go back to your table now and see. Earlier this table was not existed. Yeah. Now was not existed. What happened? Let's go back and look at over here. Mm -hmm. So when you expand this step by step. Now, see, in the, in the first staging one, it is trying to drop me a work table if that is already existed. Mm -hmm. Because you should create a work table. So when you double click mm -hmm. on here, if you go to the, if this is the same statistics here, the start time of this particular one and end time of this particular one. Mm -hmm. How many if it is inserted records, it will uh, showcase the stats here. What mm -hmm. is the log level here? Now, mm -hmm. so what is the code that was executed? If you would like to see the code, mm -hmm. see here, drop table, this is my target schema, and mm -hmm. this is the one, the work table, mm -hmm. right? And the next step is creating a work table. The same thing, if you go to mm -hmm. the code, it is trying to show you create table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With the required options. Mm -hmm. Now. Next one is loading the data. So we need to load the data from EMP to the work table. Just trying to inserting into the ODA target all the columns and values as a bind variables. Uh, but again, you know, uh, isn't it should uh, load first to uh, the temporary or staging table, right? Yes. So yes, it is, it is a staging table, C dollar underscore default or it is the employee one table? No, this is a staging table. Okay, okay. This is the staging table. Okay. Now, this is the staging one. Now go back okay. to your main. This is the ODA target. I mean mm. incremental update. So creating a target table. So uh, basically serial map main is basically source to staging and serial EU ODI target unit. I mean uh, first will be source to staging and the second option will be staging to target. Exactly, exactly. Okay, because by looking at the knowledge module, I can see what is doing. Because in first part is LKM, in the second part is it, it is IKM. Exactly. I, I'll show you. I, I'll open okay. the knowledge module and I'll show you the code okay. how this was created. No see, yeah. so the create target table is saying to say this was a warning mode. Name is already existing object. And if you look okay. at the code, it's trying to create the employee only, not employee one. Okay. We'll go back and trace out why this wasn't created. Don't okay. Worry. Okay. So create a target table mm. with the required. Mm. Now, next step: disable constraints. Mm -hmm. If we have any constraint on the table, this is trying to disable that. There was the nothing. Constraint like uh, primary key, foreign key. Ex exactly, primary key, foreign key, or uh, unique keys, mm -hmm. and not. If we have any constraint to improve okay. the performance of the load, it's trying to. Execute it. Mm -hmm. Then disabling indexes. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. to improve the performance, obviously we are going to be disabling the indexes. If there mm -hmm. are any, just trying to disable that. Mm -hmm. Now, next step is insert new rows. Mm -hmm. Now, click on core. See here, the data is available in the default. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, I'm going to be inserting append more. Append is mm -hmm. the hint here into mm -hmm. the target table the respective columns. It mm -hmm. is trying to get the data from select from the default table. Where it is a staging table. Mm -hmm. Right. See, it is trying to generate each and every call. So once your dose is there, see, earlier that was disable the indexes. Now it is right. going to be enabling the indexes, enabling yeah. the constraints. Yeah. Then end of that, come to the transaction. Yeah. Now, Go back to your uh, designer, mm -hmm. open your knowledge modules, open your loading knowledge module. What the option is selected? We select LPM SQL to SQL. Mm -hmm. Right. Let me close everything. Loading knowledge model, SQL to SQL, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I just open that, go to your operator. So look at here. It is going to be dropping the work table first option. I just open this. Go back to your uh, KM and select the task. Look at here. So what it is doing first, it is trying to do a drop work table. And mm -hmm. this is the command for that. Drop mm -hmm. table. So according to the database, it is trying to write its, its own command here, the table name, mm -hmm. whatever you are trying to, it is trying to do internally. Drop table, then the same is happening here. Drop mm -hmm. table, the table name. The next step, creating the work table. That is what it is trying to do here, right? Mm -hmm. Creating a work table, code. It is going to be creating a table, and if you look at the code here, create a table with the respective columns. It is trying to get the columns by using all this stuff. This is the Jaitan coding internally. Mm -hmm. Now, so what's the next step? It's trying to load the data. It's trying to insert the data to the work, uh, work table using those values. Mm -hmm. Right? So, can't you see uh, any uh, uh, difficulty over here? I mean, I can see it. Okay. Fine. See, everything, whatever the knowledge model is doing, I'm trying to show you that what it is doing internally. Because tomorrow if you are trying to do, it is trying to do some steps over here, uh, some extra steps. You don't know what it's doing exactly. You would like to create something. You would like to edit something. Mm -hmm. If you ha I, if I show you the exact thing what is happening in the Nali, tomorrow mm -hmm. if you have to add any new task here, you can mm -hmm. go and add a new task and you can do whatever the tra uh, mm -hmm. uh, transaction you want. Mm -hmm. This can be very easy for you uh, when you're working in uh, real-time projects, you know, according to business projects. Yeah. And right. I can write SQL command, right? Exactly. That, that will I show you. Okay. Okay, at the end of the sessions, how we can edit the knowledge module, how we can create your own knowledge module. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So, at the end, it is trying to drop in the work table. That will usually happen. See what we did? Did we select the work table or uh, disable uh, that in the mapping? Let's see. So, we place it as false. Mm -hmm. Right? That's why it didn't remove the work table. That's why we are unable to see that option here. Now go back to our uh, target schema, just refresh it here. Can you see the work tables? Mm -hmm. Right? If you go to the details options, when this was created? 19th March, today only. Mm -hmm. Right? So mm -hmm. if you go look at the data, can't you see the data? Right? So. Mm -hmm. But why, that can, employee, uh, but why that employee 1 is not created? Uh, that I, I look and I'll show you. Don't worry. Okay. It's okay. okay. 
I, I look in and I'll show you. Mm -hmm. I, I'll do that option for you. That should be, maybe I might miss something over there. Mm -hmm. Right. So accordingly, the LKM is completed IKM knowledge module. IKM what we select Oracle control of pain. Mm -hmm. If you go to the task and go to the operator to look at to see number of tasks these guys are implemented. So whatever you require, whatever your project require, just select true or false according to the requirement. So there was no need of uh, doing extra coding part over here and there. Mm -hmm. Right? So the first thing is the creating the target table. I have selected as a true option, but that was there. Creating a target table, right? Mm -hmm. See, if you would like to do this one, um, let's see, deleting a target table. Mm -hmm. You can, okay, revamp this one to the up or down. See, mm -hmm. you don't want option this one here. If you'd like to give this option at the end. Mm -hmm. Can I do that? So we can do that at that. We can move that one to the end of the knowledge module or whatever you want, wherever you want the position exactly. You can revamp mm -hmm. the position up or down mm -hmm. according to that, right? So mm -hmm. this can be, you can easily uh, understand how this was writing code internally, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So do you have any questions so far?